There are several basic waveforms found in electronics and it's often useful to understand what they sound like and why they're like this. In this video I'm going to tell you about a number of waveforms including sine waves, square waves, triangular waves and ramps and I'll let you hear what they sound like. The sine wave is probably the most fundamental waveform. It's the basic curve mapped out by anything swinging backwards and forwards. It sounds smooth because it consists only of the fundamental with no harmonics. If we look at the spectrum on a spectrum analyzer, we can see this. A pure sine wave has no harmonics and this is why it is so important. In fact, other repetitive waveforms can be built up using a series of sine waves. The square wave sounds much sharper, but it's also more interesting to listen to because it's rich in harmonics, even if it is a bit harsh on the ear. The harmonics in the square wave are only the odd order harmonics, not the even ones, in other words, the th third, fifth, and so on. And the intensity decays with increasing frequency. The triangular wave sounds less harsh than the square wave, but still more interesting than the basic sine wave. This is because it has a good number of harmonics in it, as we see in this plot of its spectrum. The ramp waveforms are two types. There are two types of them. The ramp up and ramp down. Here's the ramp up waveform. And again, its spectrum shows it has a good number of harmonics to make it sound interesting. And here's the ramp down waveform. Can you hear any difference between this and the ramp up waveform? I can't. These are just a few examples of some of the common waveforms that can be found in a variety of electronic circuits. If you need any more information, head over to the description and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.